<sighs> I can't believe myself. I did it. I just fucking did it. I still can't believe I bought a uh, 2D pictures, well, a PNG even, that has a GIF variant of it. Just because the car, not even the girl that has the massive titties right here. It's just the car, because it's a McLaren P1. Alright everyone, she can here reporting for the festival. So, as you can see from the intro, uh, <laughs> well, I honestly still can't believe it. I'm buying a PNG file over a free to play game alongside the GIF, uh, well, an interactive GIF because you can shake those chests for some reason. <laughs> And I buy that exactly because of this car right here. Yes, I spent ten dollars just for that. So, well, yeah, that's, that is my first time purchase, by the way. So that's why it's ten dollars. Because if I'm not, if I already buy something else before, I should buy it on twenty dollar before uh, on my first purchase for the gym. <laughs> yes, you. You may, well, some of you may not know, but that car that St. Louis driving on her pictures is exactly this car right here. This is the McLaren P1. It is from 2013, and it is, well, it can worth to amount $2 million. Yes, you're, you're not hearing it wrong, because... I saw it from Doug Demure videos last that he made last time, and holy shit, that is really expensive. <laughs> but then again, this car is no slouch, that's for sure. So yeah, Saint Louis in a McLaren P1, kind of weird because McLaren is a British manufacturer, and Saint Louis, well, the character is based off a U.S. U.S. Navy, uh, U.S. as St. Louis, so that's, you know, American, basically, so, oh well, so I tried to replicate the paint by use, using the platinum, I think, platinum with black tin, the blackest that I get, because the platinum really makes the reflections quite close to how the render from Azulane make. I was going to make a... I was trying to find the Itasha delivery with St. Louis on it, but well, I can't find it as the time of recording. I will update it when <laughs> they make it. And yes, the spoiler is up because it's on race mode. Yeah, that's the thing in this car. You have race mode and stuff. So. It doesn't really matter if I try to look around with this car because, well, it's just me painting it in black, so it resembles to St. Louis' car. Yeah, the the skin is called Luxurious Wheels, and it is indeed luxurious because it's one of the Trinity of Supercar back in 2013-ish. And uh, yes, it is a hybrid car. Yes, a super car with hybrid engine so yeah it is really something so that's much that i can say really because i love mclaren they 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 just look nice for a supercar like the styling is so good the performance is quite well so s2 class is a bit too much for me and well this car right here is obviously way too fast for me <laughs> Yeah, S2 classes is not my thing, so it is kind of problematic to be honest to drive for me. But it is a nice car, and yeah, it is too fast for me. That's all I can say. Also, I don't put any tint on the car because, well, the one that used by St. Louis is actually not tinted at all. Uh, this is not that close, I guess, but it's good enough. 
So anyway, let's just go into a race and see how it performs because I haven't tried on a race. This could be interesting because the, I'm keeping it very well dwarf because that's how she keep it. So I think it as well. She just buy the car and drive it. Obviously. So I don't know. Let's see. Yep, we're going to fight with the other hyper car. So, mm, yeah, something like Chiron. Well, Chiron cannot turn, so we can win against them. F12 TDF. This is really grippy. La Ferrari. This is also really grippy. This, yeah, this is also one of the holy trinity of super car, the hyper car as well. La Ferrari, because it's also a hybrid engine. There is Zero Uno. Bunch of Agera. Well, a bunch of Konics there, I mean, because Agera, Regera, another Agera, CCX, bunch of Lamborghini, and where's the other Holy Trinity? It's... Oh, there it is, the 918 Spider. This is also another Holy Trinity of the hypercar back then. Oops, sorry about that. So, yeah. Also, the one in the artwork for St. Louis is actually have the spoiler down, so... Obviously, why it stays up in this game, because... Well, technically speaking, if we are going to drive this for racing, obviously we're going to put it on race mode, right? And race mode will always have those spoiler wi spoilerly wing thing up. Yeah, I don't know how to call that one, because it is a spoiler, but it's not a spoiler, because it's also a wing. Really confusing, and I forgot to turn on, turn on my camera. God damn it! Well, it's not like you can see my face anyway, but it is there for the sake of being there. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> so right, let's see on our first way on Grindel Super Sprint. I cannot go full throttle up to third gear. But handling wise so far, it's really nice. It has 7 gear. So, the lower gear that I'm going to use should be around 3rd gear around the corner. Ooh, a little too fast and I locked up the brakes there. That's annoying. And this is also not the best road for the car like this because it's so bumpy. Yeah, car is specifically made for track use. Ooh, that's breaking a lot of stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, so this car is not exactly for road use like this. I mean, yes, it can be used on the road, but... Well... I'm clearly not cut out for this car, <laughs> because... I'm kind of scared as to how fast it is. But that's the fun of it, I guess, for a car like this, you know. You drive it as fast as you can. And try not to crash. And if it's crash, it's crash. That's it. Oh! Oh! Ah! I screwed it up. I screwed it up really badly there. Yeah, the car is really flying because yeah it's heavy but it doesn't have enough downforce why are you oh wow that light is really bad for this ai that's for sure okay, at least let me well i get back my position because someone missing the checkpoint somehow i don't know how the ai will miss the checkpoint with that bad driving Oh, like six position. Yeah, P six instead of P one. I already disgraced this car name. <laughs> uh, but seriously though, car is a bit too wild with this configuration. That's why you should put on Forza Aero Kit. But it's so ugly for on this car. Like seriously. And I mean, with the and with the 
Forza Aero Kit. That means you'll sacrifice that pop-up spoiler, which is kind of sad. So yeah, you don't want to, you know. No, I don't. I don't want to raise the difficulty. Shut up. So with with that, <laughs> yeah. If we use the Forza Aero Kit, we'll not only we use we lose the pop up spoiler wing, wing thing that this car has but that also means you put on an ugly wing from Forza it, it just doesn't fit with this car alright with that sleek look you want something else so yeah now onto the second race on Moorhead Wind Farm Circuit let's see how it goes this one a lot less sweat uh, we're fighting a, a break which is not supposed to be in this game. Oh, someone already make a mistake there. The elevation sometimes is really evil for this car. Oh, what the hell? Zero no. That is zero no, right? Not Lamborghini. Not sure. I mean, Lamborghini looks is not that distinctive anymore. They need to design something better than a wedge these days. Not that they're a bad car, but come on. Listen something else, please. Yeah, on circuit, I can do it fine. Excuse me, my brother. You're blocking the way. Thank you. Now we get we can catch up with the first place. A little too fast there. <laughs> now the AI is locking up the brakes with the, his Santa. But yeah, this car is not that grippy in this game. It's just want to fly. Uh, a little too fast there. That's stupid. I have a habit of pushing the car a little too much when it comes to last lap, even though I'm on the first place. But you know, I want to keep my pace as fast as I could. And that is, after all, what it meant to be for a racer, right? Yeah, see? I can do just fine. Yeah, the car is not bad at handling, but you just you, you really need to be, to be careful. <laughs> like, seriously careful with this car, because if you don't, this car, it's kind of wild, so you know. That is something that you have to keep in mind. <laughs> but overall, it's not bad. It's pretty fun to drive. Well, you're not going to win races in this online race with this car, to be honest. Oh, well, a bunch of McLaren on the front, that's nice. So, yeah, not for competitive, but for fun factor, it is really fun in this game. On to the next one. For our final race, we are on Lakehurst for a sprint, and it is raining, so not the most ideal condition for this car with rear wheel drive, especially on S2 class. So, mm, yeah, this is going to be rough. So let's see how this car performs again on the raid. Oh, wow, it's even bouncing the limiter on the gear. That's something. And you cannot just go full throttle, you got to be smooth with your throttle when it comes to... Uh, turning, like so. This... Ooh. Yeah, wet track is not really friendly with this car. This car really hates it. 
I mean, I could make it a little bit more friendlier if I tune down the differential, because I haven't done that. But, uh, not bad actually. But the car just wants to slide all over the place with this current condition. <laughs> yeah, it is sliding everywhere. Oh wow. Well. Ooh, okay, it slides even more around that elevation. That elevation on the track corner there, it's, it's really something. <laughs> I think I should turn down the diff to around 30%-ish with this car because right now I uh, didn't concentrate on the road. Right now the car is set to 75%, it's the default. And my volume scroll wheel is keep going down as much as it can because why the hell not? I need to fix that. Uh, flow of my headset. Yeah, I need to break a bit more on that one. But yeah, now I can I can barely hear my engine on my headset, <laughs> and that's really annoying. All right, got to be careful around right here. as well. Fast corner on wet track like this is really dangerous compared to slow corner on wet track because you go faster but you're not supposed to like that guy earlier there. But yeah. Wet track! Eww, it's hell. <laughs> Yeah, you only play with, around with this car on a dry track, <laughs> Un unless you want to kill yourself. <laughs> but, car itself is not bad, as long as it's dry. But seriously though, it's not bad at all. Yeah, I don't have much to say, to be honest. But. The sound it has on this game, it's not that bad. It's pretty close. Well, close-ish with the actual car's engine noise, but not too much. Too, too, not too great, to be honest. But yeah, the diff definitely need to be lower on the wet track, because if I try to let go of the throttle, it's actually let off the rear. Which is not a good sign with the kind of, with the kind of track like that. But other than that, that is it for today, and that's that for McLaren P1. A really beautiful car, and apparently got and fit a cruiser <laughs> because Azulane. <laughs> Oh wow, I, I still can't believe I spent that amount of money to the game. <laughs> Just for uh, pictures of the car, not even the ship girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot alright, so shut up. <laughs>